Go ahead. One of our guests had a little problem there. Anyway, um, sorry to tell you that Gildari got caught up with his work, so he wouldn't be here this evening, but he promised he will be here on Friday. So once again, welcome to the Gildari Freddy Kisun show. We come to you Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We had a special program last evening. You can get it on YouTube. Just go, type in on YouTube, Freddy Kisun show, um, 1973 election martyrs, and the program will come up. We interviewed the children of Bolinot Parmanan that were shot by the soldiers in the 1973 election when the soldiers were taking the ballot boxes. This evening we have three guests that have made this show a success. This is their third appearance and they were very kind to come here two times before and their viewership was very extensive and this evening should be no difference. Uh, our three guests this evening in alphabetical order is Rajinja Besessa. He was one of the team from the Alliance for Change that negotiated the covenant, the arrangement with the PNC in the 2015 election, and thus was born APNU plus AFC. That covenant is called the Cummingsburg Accord, and that was the document that would shape the relationship between AFC and APNU if they get into power. One of the men who was at the negotiating table for the AFC was Rajinja Bissessa. He was also an executive member of the AFC and a member of the management committee. Alphabetically, we go to Michael Carrington. Michael Carrington represented the AFC in Parliament from 2015 to 2020. He was a member of the management committee that ran the affairs of the AFC and an executive member of the 32 decision-making body of the AFC. And finally, Leonard Craig. Uh, Craig was one of the foundation members he said there's a difference between founding members and foundation members when he was on this program a few months back. And I understand that distinction. Leonard Craig, like Virginia Bessessa and Mr. Carrington, was a management committee member and also an executive member. Then he was a member of the team that renegotiated the Cummingsburg Accord in February 2020. And he was the Deputy General Secretary of the AFC. Tonight we have in our studio three former heavyweights, three former bigwigs, three former hierarchical leaders of the Alliance for Change. We've gathered in the studio this evening to discuss some of the statements made by Raphael Trotman in his book From Destiny to Prosperity. There are some statements made in this book that Bessessa, Craig, and Carrington need to comment on, especially if they are going to save their credibility. And I would like to think all three of them have played a useful part, perhaps more than a useful part, in Guyanese politics. But there are some statements made here that the public out there, even though those who are not watching this program, they would like to know how you explain some of the statements Rafael Trotman made in this book, one of which is very, very disturbing, and we're going to start with that. But before my first question, which is alphabetically, so it's Bicessa, then Carrington, then Craig. Let's start with protocol. Rajendra, thanks for being here again and again and again. <laughs> nice Leonard, being here. you look dapper, man. <laughs> and nice being here again. Good. Please. Now, um, could you guys get to your book, page two? Now, this is interesting, and I think. 
history, the historians will pick up on this 20, 40 years from now. I'm going to read what the deputy leader of the de facto deputy leader of the Alliance for Change said in this book. At the time of the 2015 election campaign, he was as big in the AFC as any other AFC leader. So people saw him and Ramjatan as the two big wigs. In 2015 May, the APNU plus AFC entity won the elections. Now, the AFC met to decide on its seats. Here is what Rafael Chotman said in his book on page two. And I will read for the viewers and I will ask my panelists to pay careful attention. After the, 20, after the 2015 elections, for a reason never fully explained to me, I repeat, for reasons never fully explained to me, my name was not submitted for a ministerial position under the terms of the Cummingsburg Accord arrangement. I have, however, rationalized that with the AFC having a limited number of positions to fill, I would be the natural loser, even though I had just successfully managed the 2015 campaign alongside the very capable Joe Harmon. He as co-manager with me. Admittedly, there were moments when my anxiety caused me to momentarily forget. And I had to remind myself that I, I always work on assignments from God. And that it was and always is He who positions and removes me or otherwise. Now, would anyone believe that in 2015, the A AFC won an election the Cummingsburg Accord, and here I will ask the cameraman to focus on Bicessa. I'm pointing to Bicessa. Bicessa, um, could the cameraman focus on Bicessa, please? Bicessa negotiated the Cummingsburg Accord. Now, under that accord, the AFC was to get six ministers and the Prime Minister. So let's leave the Prime Minister out. Six ministers the AFC was to get. They met in a room. The only person here that was not present in that room when they were selecting their ministers was Leonard Craig. Bessessa was present and Carrington was present. How the AFC could assign six leaders among their leadership, and Rafael Chotman didn't get one. So, looking back now, how many ministers did the AFC have in the 2015-2020 government? With Ginger Bissessar, what, what's going on here? What um, is going on here? Well, first of all, um, I was also a member of the management committee that made day-to-day -day decisions of the AFC. And as Freddie said, I was present when we were discussing the allocation of ministers. My first point, my first point is that for some reason, leaderships of political parties believe that they have this God-given right to be selected above everyone else. They were servants. We elected them to run. No, the no. Government. I have to cut you. I don't understand. I have that. to cut you here. before I, we, before you, uh, <laughs> if you could skip that preamble. Okay. Mr. Okay, fine, fine, Mr. Chotman was actually seen by people in this country as important a leader in the AFC as the as <laughs> as the, fa the fact is that it, how he did not get the a fact minister. is the top leadership was more than the number of ministers, so somebody had to be left out. Um, I understand your argument; it should not be Chotman, but. They selected him to be advisor to the president in governance. All right, so somebody... The AFC did that? Yeah. We decided, it was decided at the meeting that these were going to be the ministers and he was going to be the advisor to the president on governance. That was decided. In any case... No, but so where are your six ministers then? In the room me, that you me, met? Let me come to that. I'll come to that now. The reality is this, and I spoke before about the weakness 
and the lack of courage maybe on the on the part of the leadership of the of the Alliance for Change. Because first of all, the Granger administration took one ministry which was um, tourism and commerce and business and so on, one ministry. They divided it into two. And they gave Gaskin business and gave Cassie tourism. Right away, instead of six ministries, we would have gotten... No, no. but I'm but, saying to you, no, we but, did not get but, six. Right away, we got five But Ginger Bessessa, you negotiated the Commons Board of Card. It says six ministers. You were in the room there. They were picking six the six ministers. Ministries. Six ministries. And I'm explaining to you now... That six ministries must have a leader of a I'm ministry. I'm explaining to you now, we did not get six ministries from the beginning. We got six ministers, but they took away one ministry by dividing one into two we actually got five ministries you got that so the pnc gave us contrary to the to the accord the afc got five ministries instead of six because they got four and one divided into two so we got six ministers but five ministries i hope you understand that so right away we were shortchanged and the leadership said nothing secondly Trotman was not selected by the AFC, which means he was not one of the six ministers. Which means we did not, you cannot count Trotman in reality as one of the ministers that the AFC got. Because we did not recommend, the AFC did not recommend him, therefore he was not part of the six that we have. He was pushed in. He was appointed actually by the by the by Granger government administration, not by the Alliance for Change. So how can we consider him to be one of the ministers of the Alliance for Change when the Alliance for Change did not select him as a minister? He became one because the president decided to appoint him. So um, those are the facts. Uh, so the facts are this man who founded the AFC with Kemba Chamchitan, they in a room selecting ministers. You are there, and they called, um, you will have to call the lady's name, and Carrington, I would not, because if she sues me, all right, if she sues me, I, I was not there. You were there, Carrington were there. They picked up the phone and called her, and offered her the environmental ministry. But how could they do that? And the founder of the party, um, Trotman is right there in the room. How could Cathy Hughes get a ministry? How could David Patterson get a ministry? Kemba Jamjatan get a ministry? They're calling a lady. You, her name is in the book here. Um, but they, they haven't given one to the big Trotman, who's co-manager of the 2015 campaign. Joe Harmon representing APNU, and he representing... Um, AFC. Um, can we go over to Carrington? Carrington, did you read page two well that he's saying he was not made a minister? I, read it, I, read it. I know about that. Um, it was truthful what he had write, written in there, that he was not made a minister in 2015. I remember the particular day we sat down and we were dealing with it, and um, Kemraj, and um, they were discussing who would be minister. And I could tell you the truth, Raphael Trantman's name was never mentioned at that particular day concerning that. But I, he was present there. He was present there, but his name was not mentioned to be a, a whole, any ministerial position. At that particular time, I wanted to know why. Um, because he had recommended me for parliament. Because my name also was not mentioned by Kemraj. And that particular day, if we go to Parliament, although I um, was there, I missed it in 2006 and um, 2011 also, I missed it, but I was always with the party battling on the ground. And in 2015, I think they had wanted to exclude me. But came, um, but Raphael get up and said, what happened to Carrington? Carrington is here. Carrington is always on the ground. And then Kemrad said, we're going to include Carrington to Parliament. I think it's 12, um, 12 seats we had in um, 2015. But it was strangely on that particular day, Raphael Trotman's name was not mentioned whatsoever. Then I get it through the grapevine that um, the president called 
or something. And after you realize that Trotmonde <coughs> was not put as a minister by the AFC, and uh, put him in some position in terms of um, in the ministry, within the ministry of the presidency or something like that. I didn't get the chance to go through the book because it came um, this morning and I, the whole day I was busy, so I didn't get the transcript. But what I'm telling you, that was factual. AFC did not name him. The leadership of our AFC, or the AFC had named him or anybody named him as a minister at that time. Well, before we come to Craig, I find this bizarre, surreal, mm -hmm. and incredible mm -hmm. that the AFC won the election in 2015. And everybody knows mm -hmm. that the AFC is synonymous with two men, mm -hmm. Rafael Trotman and Kemba John Chetan. In fact, I am telling the viewers now, I am telling the viewers now when I'm telling Rafael Trotman was one, was the first person that broached the idea of forming the Alliance for Change and was there from the beginning. How could this party win an election and they're calling a woman to give her a ministry and one of the biggest names in politics is sitting on right there and who managed their campaign. Something is wrong there, Leonard Craig. What is your take? All right. Um, so let me give you some background, as you would have already announced, that I was not full-time in that meeting. I um, was in and out um, uh, of the meeting, and I um, cannot give too much um, background as to what happened in the meeting. I think I, I was doing something else, or I, I can't remember. Nevertheless, um, like you, we would all seek an explanation for that. The explanation that was given to me is that um, Trotman had expressed a desire. That, that's what I was told that among the senior leaders, he expressed a desire um, not to be so named um, and that they were thinking, how do you navigate? He was the immediate past speaker. And how does a speaker go, go back into the National Assembly as a regular member? Um, so that was one challenge. The second challenge, the second um, factor is that he was taught to be immensely close with um, Granger and that Granger had a specific place carved out for him. Um, and I was told similar to if you compare um, Gail Teixeira's role in the previous PPP along with Roger Lanchon, he would have been a um, a cross between the two or combining the two together that would have been Raphael's position. He would have been close to the president. He would have been quote-unquote one of the man of business. He would have been present in, in uh, and so though he was not appointed a minister, he would have still had lots of power in the or, or be high profile in the government. That is the explanation that was given to me. And so, Raphael Trotman being in the meeting and being present, and um, I got the impression that he fully understood and it was a full agreement, so nobody bothered to even think about naming him because this thing was carved out. That is, the, um, that is what was told to me. Subsequently, um, it, 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 it further goes this, this way that um, a particular person, I am not sure I should name him, I'll decide just now if I should, a particular person in the campaign architecture um, would have approached several persons, including Granger, including Trotman, and say, here, look, um, I can name it as some stroke from Jamaica. That is what you said. That's not what I said. Yeah, I said, and I'm saying it now. As okay. some stroke 
the caricature of the AFC was Al Sims Jot was almost like the leader of the AFC. Anyway, yeah. So so the individual approached Granger along with Trotman and some other folks and say here, um, when you consider the architecture of power in Guyana, you cannot legitimately express or you cannot legitimately if I use the term wield, I'm not so comfortable with the term, but for the want of a better word. You cannot um, wield power in Guyana unless you have the power of the ministerial office behind you. Um, for example, you can speak legitimately at a cabinet meeting. Whereas if you had the other position, you can't. Somebody could tell you, shut up, you're not a member. You are not a constitutional member of this cabinet. And um, so that person brought that perspective and say, because of that, you need to be a minister. And then I understand that a midnight deal before the day of his appointment was made. And the next day, then he was um, named by Granger. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, be that, before, that, no, no, no. Wait, let's, let's, let's deal with it. But see, what he said is what in the book here. What he said just now bears no relation to what is in the book here. I will read again. After the elections, for reasons never fully explained to me, my name was not submitted for a ministerial position under the terms of the Common Book Accord arrangement. Now, the emphasis here, if you dissect and deconstruct these two lines, for reasons never fully explained to me, my name was not submitted for a ministerial position. It means these two lines mean two things. The man was not against having a ministerial position. And whoever is doing the submission did not submit his name. That does not gel with what you were told that Raphael didn't want. Raphael is saying here, it's he esoteric. Um, he wanted, the, he, he, he wanted, he wanted he, the minister. He, he, so He was upset that he wasn't appointed by AFC as a minister. So now history is being recorded here. Yeah. And that is why I talk about Alston Strode. Now, we're going to come back. If to, I may uh, stick a pin, if I may yeah. stick a pin. He was appointed as the advisor on governance. And I remember we had a, a meeting at... Um, when he said in the at, book, let me, let me Granger finish. appointed... No, no. Let me finish this. No, no. But he said in the book, Granger appointed him. Well, we had taken a decision there he was going to be that at the meeting, at our meeting. But let me say this. I had a discussion with him when he, he was advisor on governance. And we had a... At the, at the, what the place we normally meet at the that hotel. And I was sitting chatting with him. And I was discussing with him saying, you know, that the advisor position wasn't this great and whatever. And and you might get more money for the advisor than actually the minister at that time. And I don't know if I put that thing in, in his mind in a sense that, you know, you're just an advisor, not a minister. And it was after that, a little while after that, see, there was some time that elapsed as advisor when sometime he laps and so I guess he might have gone and talked to had a discussion with Granger. Well something is wrong here and I think But he wasn't appointed a minister like some, immediately. something is seriously and disturbingly wrong here from twenty fifteen to twenty twenty. I would like to suggest and something. I, One if you look at the struggle between Kamraj and Trotman afterwards and the nature of the leadership of these parties it's like they, they don't like challenges and so anyway, maybe not, no. there was some deliberate effort not to but collect calculated effort not to have a minister put him in the ministry. But something by is the AFC leadership. No, but let us talk let us talk about party politics. Wedding Yano anyway. If in twenty fifteen in May the AFC leadership met at the head office and assigning ministerial position and Trotman's name was not mentioned. It, it has to mean, in terms of absolute reality, it ha had to mean that those hierarchical members in the leadership, Patterson, Dominique Gaskin, Kemba Dramjatan, uh, Noel Holder, uh, Kathy, yeah. Kathy, it meant that they did not want 
Trotman to become a, um, a minister. One year after Trotman ran against Kemal Dramjitan at Vidinup School in, in, in um, and, won the and won the leadership. Something is wrong and I think the historian is going to find this confusing when he, he or she listens to this program. I'm not a believer, but how in heaven's name did he stay, how did he remain in the AFC? And if the AFC treated him like that when he was the, the core campaign manager, why did he seek the leadership of the party and he won it at Breeding Hoop in December? What, what is going on there? Um, Freddie, remember um, you, you quoted just one paragraph from Rafa's book. Um, but apart from that, he started the book in, in the preface by saying that he is writing from his perspective through his own eyes. And he did not pretend to have another perspective. He, he didn't even um, venture into what another perspective might be. And I just presented you with another perspective that is outside of his purview, his own eyes. Now, um, based on what I presented to you earlier, um, I don't think that is entirely not factual, right? Um, because it is inconceivable that you sit in a room to name ministers and um, Raphael isn't named. His, his name didn't come up according to Michael. Um, so they ought to have been some sort of discussion. Either um, Raphael may have said um, just in a discussion, not you, you know there are times when you have a discussion, let's say you're, you're having a casual discussion and, and somebody turn and say to you, man, now we, we win the election or it looks like we're going to win the election. Why, um, what, what, what role you see yourself playing? And you say, okay, um, my ideal role may be so, 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 but it is not, that was not, probably was not set in stone, but that discussion probably did take place. And that person probably spread the news and say, look, this man is not interested. We do. When we go in that room, we don't need to. I, I, I don't Leonard, know. No, um, oh, hold a sec before you go. Um, Leonard Craig, thousands of people are watching you. Mm -hmm. That explanation exists in the cloud. So, I mean, mm -hmm. what, I'd call it for, deductive speculation. For, first of all, mm -hmm. let me say this, and I humbly apologize. I do not have the capacity to understand what you're saying. That's a spin. Saying. That's a spin. I, I just, no, it you know. is. It is. I would admit. What I'm saying, I this admit, man wanted a minister clearly, job. You're, this you're, is his book. You're speculating. This is his book. And he's saying that. He I mean, is saying you're speculating. the people are giving no, him minister. In, in other words, let me, let me, let me be frank then. Say, I, um, it's not credible. I am casting... The first time you came to this program, there were a lot of callers saying, the man, the man evading things, the man spinning. No, 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 I'm being directed to you now. I'm being directed to you. I am saying, I have perspective. team don't have a good spinner. Your perspective is speculating. You have to get the job. It will be cast aside. The man said he wanted it. My point, and Fred is correct. The leaders, you say we get to take from the leaders are saying, right? And... And when we came up to the environmental, even to the environmental one, while you're seeking all over, and in, in hindsight now, you're would wondering... You, would you like to call the lady's name? I could get Sue uh, Fikon. No, 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 I, I can't. Look her name is here. Is Look her name is here. Okay. You don't... <laughs> <laughs> don't. What? It doesn't matter. You don't want no. to. The point is. Why you don't want to call her? Is she relevant? It's history. Is she irrelevant mm -hmm. who the person is? The fact is, mm -hmm. as in but hindsight... The historians want to know In this. hindsight, as you raised it, Right? My question is this. Why is it even when it comes to the environmental thing? They didn't, and they're searching, and, and, and Trump was sitting there. It, it, and you're better How a man that found the Very strange. The, how a man that found the party was the party's campaign manager 
won an election in the world, not in Guyana. He and Kemba Dramjitan are seen as the AFC, and they are the AFC. And he's seen as you a give him, by you, you give him a minister job. And then the man said, okay, I am going to take over this party. And he contests the leadership and won the party's leadership. Leonard Craig, um, well, let's go over to Carrington. Carrington, do you understand what Craig just said? Craig, uh, Craig is my good friend, but he looked like he was dancing just now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think Craig is, going, <laughs> Craig is going to get a call. It, Greg is going to get the call from the West Indian <laughs> cricket team because they need a spin off. <laughs> they need a spin off. Yeah, yeah. I call it speculative yeah. deduction, you know, but it's like. I was concerned with it, and he had. Uh, all concerned. Yeah, his name wasn't mentioned. I don't know why, up to today, why he was. Leaving. Okay, well, I got a, I got a new one f for you guys now. Yeah. And each one of you would like to have your take. He won the leadership of the AFC. In December at Vidinupa, mm -hmm. 2016. Mm -hmm. He called in February 2017. He called a press conference. And this is what he said at the press conference. And only one person took it up and wrote about it. And only one journalist took it up. That person who wrote about it was me. The journalist that took it up and said, This is a gold mine and investigated it was Leonard Craig. Gildari. Sure. Uh, sorry, Leonard Gildari. Craig G um, Trotman said at that first press conference as leader of the AFC, David Granger is a wonderful, lovely human being. I'll give you an example. We did not get ministers, some of us did not get ministerial positions in the AFC. And he was kind enough to reach out to us. He assigned a minister to me, portfolio, ministry to me, the portfolio of natural resources. He assigned the agriculture portfolio to Noel Holder and the business portfolio to Dominique Gaskin. It meant then that from 2015 to 2020, you have the six ministers in the AFC plus the prime minister, when it was in fact three then, Patterson, uh, can watch. No, if if he appointed, if the president appointed Holder, I just said it, Holder, Chotman, and Gaskin, then only three ministers were given to the, ministries were given to the FC under the Cummingsburg Accord, Ministry of Tourism, use Minister of Home Affairs, um, Ramjitan and Minister of Public Works. No, it could be seen differently. He said, he said what, the president gave Holder the Ministry of Agriculture. No, I, I think heard, that was um, I heard what you said, but in reality, all, so I don't what know why is he, I don't about know why he said that know, because Valerie, Valerie was was with a, um, was called a junior minister in the Ministry of um, the Fair. I think she she wasn't that, part. That's of another this. crazy yeah. aspect of it. But let's go back to this specific question. The fact but is, our culture I don't know why he would have said that because um, we took a decision on the management committee. Whoever became ministers, other than Trotman, that decision was taken, including Gaskin, including Noel. In fact, mm -hmm. Noel was proposed to be senior, and I was proposed to be junior minister. So those, so those were AFC. Um, yeah, we we took a decision. Me, and why you didn't discipline him when he said that at the oh, uh, um, <laughs> Why the AFC? You were in the management committee. You were in the executive. He I, was in the management committee. He was in the executive. I don't you were in the executive. You were in the management. You I, just said in this program. I don't you think, also helped I, to run the day I didn't, see, I didn't see that uh, press conference, actually. That press conference was given white publicity. Yeah, but then I, 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 ran it. It. Yeah. I ran it in a column. Look. You must. Look. It didn't matter anything because even in my instance, when a number of leading persons within the AFC were demanding of the leadership, what happened to the appointment of Mr. Peter? The, the, the leadership did not budge. And I can tell you something. There were a lot of speculation as to why. And one of the reasons I put forward about Trotman just now is like leaders don't like challenges. They destroy you. They, they marginalize you. And I think whoever did that did it to marginalize Trotman and also did it anyway, to marginalize before we, um, myself. Anyway, before we... Um, pardon me? 
No, it's all right. Go the marginalization of people by leaving. Well, um, let's let's go back to Chuck Moon's book. Um, there, there, there is a part here in which you refer to Granger as a very great leader, and but he made it, a criticism too. And it was um, it was unfortunate, according to him, that uh, the Guyanese people did not um, see his um, his greatness. I mean, he was um, he was voted out. Uh, how great? was um, David Granger as a president. And I'd like to hear that from all three of you, beginning with Carrington, who I think had a less input in the debate just now. Well, I, I like to be very straight. I wasn't very close to Mr. Granger. Cameron and all them would be close to Granger. I think Granger had appointed his ministers, all his ministers, and give them the free way to actually manage their ministry without him actually micromanaging it. And some do well, and in my opinion, some may not do well. Um, communication, um, he communicated with Granger, but I personally, this is my personal feeling, that Granger wasn't so much a good communicator in terms of communicating with his other it's parliamentarians and those type of thing. Um, we hardly had meetings that we really sit. I'm not talking about cabinet. I'm talking about like back benches and those type of thing and sit. I never got a call as an MP for AP and AFC. A call for him to have any discussion or him ask my idea on some kind of thing that taking place within the country. Any problems or whatever. They hardly had, had that communication, but Raphael and the cabinet basically will do a lot of communication with Granger. So I, in my own opinion, he wasn't, to me, a good communicator in terms of communicating, moving on the ground, talking to people, you know. He may have his set of people he moved with, but as, as a mini, as member of parliament, we didn't have that kind of sit and talk and say, oh, are we going in this particular direction? We didn't have that. So I, um, he's a good man, but in terms of communication, I think he had fallen along with that. Thing. I, will, I will come back to parts of the book. Yeah. Uh, so Craig, All right. and then, um, um, with respect to um, Granger's greatness, which is what as, as, is as a leader, um, and I'm, I can only speak from my perspective, mm. um, Granger had extremely good ideas, mm. and ideas reside within the mind. But the execution of those ideas um, was basically um, not well done. Mm. For example, Raphael wrote in his book that Granger had very, very good ideas, and he was well-meaning about social cohesion in the country and unity and so on. And he did appoint a minister of social cohesion. Mm -hmm. But can we name anything that came out of the ministry? Can we name anything that um, advanced in, in, in real terms social cohesion? So um, what, for me, the greatness of Granger ended at his cognitive um in, in inside his mind resided in his mind and you, you can see that he 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 meant well you can see that he wanted these good things for the country but as michael said just now with my, which might be very well true that he just appointed his ministers and give them and i think Perfect. as a first term government you ought to run your ministry more from a political central. And let me just digress a little. When you read Raphael's entire book, he said he wrote his book. The book is centered around the five years that he served as minister. And there's hardly a single line about the political aspect of Raphael Trotman, the minister. He just talks about his administration, right? And 
which re is reflective of the weakness of the entire Granger's administration. There was a lot, a lot of administration and people concentrate, but the political aspect, the meetings between the parties, the political side of things Never had um, didn't happen. And you cannot run your first term of government allowing ministers to to run their own show, quote unquote. You had to have a tighter political um type of governance structure within your 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 administration and that lacking caused a whole lot of other dominoes to fall do you accept um um granger's assertion in this book granger. not granger a trust me, that granger was a great leader i don't R again Chotman wrote from his point of view. I'm not concerned with perspective you wrote, but you I, am you wrote to, on. I am putting to the panelists a, mm -hmm. a, a, a statement Chotman made, and I would like to the panelists to he wrote. respond to that. No, well, that what, is what, what I'm what, saying, what, great ideas, no, but no, what I'm short saying, on execution. The man, did the, the man wrote the book is his perspective. You can substitute. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I am answering no. And I, I responded to Granger, he just come and shake my hand and so on. Uh, he wasn't a person who would move out in the crowd and talk to people, which is necessary. But leaving that aside, one of the major activity, repainting the president's office, make it green. I mean, I, for <laughs> heaven's name, couldn't comprehend the need green. The second thing is this, he decided to change the names of all the ministries and give them brand new name. He created a whole set of confusion as to what. A whole, as, he did this, you know. His, that doesn't me, make a no, minister no, no, no. a, a leader bad la, person. La, just let me finish. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I'm saying he's not a great person. There's a difference. I'm telling you what his concentration was. But your citing is no, lack of no, waiting no, because uh, you of those did not interrupt. Things. You did not yeah. interrupt. Let me finish. Okay. They talk a lot longer than me. You did not interrupt them. You have a habit of interrupting me. Let me finish. <laughs> I'm setting two instances that he prioritized. Now, my good friend Craig just now said he established a ministry of cohesion. He put a minister there and nothing was done. And my good friend down there Try to complete. Oh yes, he's a good guy. He created minister. He didn't micromanage. He allowed them carte blanche to do what they want. If I'm the president of a country, the buck stops, and I have ministers, and they're not performing, and I don't remove them, I don't admonish. I don't. Then something is wrong. And if you put a minister of cohesion who did absolutely nothing, then he is not taking charge of his government. His government failed because he refused, it's not that the population in this country refusing to hold their parties accountable, he refused to hold his ministers accountable. I put you there to perform, I need, I need results. You don't give me the results, I put somebody else. He just left it to flow. He did not lead. I want to, I want to, anybody want to say anything before I come in? No, I, I, I wanted to say, um, is it possible that the AFC leadership was always suspicious that Trotman was never heart and soul into the AFC because he had a problem with Hunt. He left the PNC because of Hunt, but he went back to the PNC. Now, in the 2016 election, 2015. So 2016 local government local election. Trotman <laughs> said something that I knew he said it. And Trotman cornered me because I didn't have the proof. And he made a big fuss about it. And he went and he complained to um, uh, Kaicho News Management. I had to apologize. But I knew Trotman said it. I did the man own the business and he was a fearful of victimization to come forward and say yes at Bartica in the local government election he said 
the prodigal son has returned. Meaning then that he was always a PNC and he returned to the PNC. I trusted and still trust the person who told me that. But Trotman said to the newspaper, let Kisun prove that I said that. I couldn't prove it. I had to apologize. So I'm wondering if all the time they're hugging up each other, the AFC, they never trusted him to be a, a, a true AFC leader because Hart was no longer in the PNC, so he went back to the PNC. I'd like to have your take, all of you, on that. There was no sense of that, you know, especially, let's say, among the junior yeah. people, there was no sense of that. It was not, like, visible, okay, if it was there. It's not something we could say yes to. It wasn't visible. And the interaction that all our meeting and so on was, was formal, and there was no indication of the lack of trust in that sense. Um, I like to contradict you, but I like that. Do I have any meetings? But, no. But no, no, I, I, I do I, not. No, no. Okay. I, I, I have evidence to contradict what I you're saying. So. When the two of you finish, I'll tell you what Trotman did during the campaign. I, For me, I have no... I do not have a different perspective on that. I think um, Rafael Trotman was heart and soul AFC. He built the AFC. He wanted the AFC to go in a particular direction. I, I think in in his heart, he wanted to see Guyana unite um, and, and things like that. And um, I don't think... I have gotten any vibe or sentiment from any leader within the AFC that suggests that um, some sort of distrust existed. And if that is so, it was really kept under wraps. Um, I'll come to my evidence after coming. Well, for me, as I agree with, um, with Leon Craig here. In my opinion, um, Rafael never be Rafael is heart and soul AFC. If the two leaders had a difference with each other, they had difference from time to time. But where it comes to the party, he was a strong, very strong AFC. I would I never see that he really wanted to run back into the PNC. All right. That is my opinion. Well you guys yeah. you guys have overlooked the missing link. Mm. And the missing link is I campaigned mm. for the AFC and spoke at more public meetings than any AFC leader. Mm. There were times Craig used to call me, the, the speaker and turn up, mm. and I will tell you, I was at that office. And during the campaign, mm. the coordinated campaign office was in Albert and the cross street there. Queenstown. Queenstown. And Trotman, during the campaign, hardly made any appearance mm -hmm. at the AFC during the campaign. And that was even cited to me that this man don't come. This man don't come. He was always at the, um, the joint thing where the PNC actually had, you know, that was the PNC campaign office. Mm -hmm. Then, Hierarchical members of the AFC told me that almost for a year after they got into government, Trotman did not come to management meetings. Now I'm putting all three of you on the spot, call you at a management meeting. Is it not true that Trotman missed a substantial amount of management committee meetings? when it was held at AFC almost every week or every fortnight? I can't remember that at all. Okay. Many of the meetings he went, I can't remember that. That was that. You might yeah. not be incorrect because I tell you what. Yeah. Trotman, I may not be incorrect, Trotman, yes. Trotman was upset, actually. Yes. He was upset at the fact that he was sidelined in terms yeah. of the ministry yeah. work. Yeah. I know yeah. that. The second one is yeah. this. Um, there's a, there was a battle between Kamraj and, 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 mm. and the leader. As I told you, there are certain people in the leadership of these parties that any person that might be in a position potentially That's to challenge them, they shut them down. And so when somebody becomes a minister, he's in the spotlight and they get elected. It's like the PPP. Somebody made him, like if somebody like Robert Passard was contesting against me for CC without being a minister, right. he would lose. Let and, and therefore, Kamraj will have had 
uh, a reason, I'm not saying it was, but there was a reason, okay, this is the challenger to me, and therefore I might as well keep him out. And and maybe that people are saying that one of the reasons they did not really push me, push it anyway, to be out. Um, this guy goes to a local government election in 2016. Mm -hmm. Months, um, the 2015 election was May. The local government election was about a year after. This guy goes to Bartika. And if you analyze his speech, I did, did a column on it, and he was upset. And I know why Trotman was upset. That column actually showed that Trotman was more a PNC than the AFC. And he really was livid. I remember and, that. And, and, and called the Kaichu management. I had to. I remember that. I had to, with, I had to apologize. Looking back at it now, I have taken back my apologies. Mm -hmm. Looking back at what Chotman or Chotman behaved during the, uh, um, from 2015 to 2020. I know a man, um, Chotman could sue if he wants. I'm being bold now. I know a man that slept in Chotman's house as a security for years. And then after the elections, of course, he, the guy went over to the FC. And that man asked me, to ask Trotman for a house lot. That man guarded Trotman's life at his home, slept in the... And Trotman, I went to Trotman, and Trotman told me that, um, well, I will, I will see what I can do. I will, I, I will um, ask the housing minister. I said, no, don't ask the housing minister. Demand it from the housing minister. That is practical politics. You know what he said to me? I never forget it. I called him on my phone and I was at the junction of King and North Road. He said to me, I can't tell a minister to give someone a house lot. I am saying that's the reality of life, of politics anywhere in the world. But um, I was told Trotman said at the Bartika LGE meeting, the prodigal son has returned. Okay. And I want to believe that after that election, AFC people began to see Trotman more as going over to the PNC rather than the AFC. But maybe he had uh, reasons to also. He wanted a minister job, as he said here, and he wasn't given one. So, um, the, 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 the topic here tonight is Trotman and his book. You know, so let's, let's Freddie, let me just say this to you. The peculiar thing is this. He is a political son, as you said, and he is more PNC. But what was the response of the, the housing thing? They want to put the housing minister. But let's look at the office of the president now. Office of the President was submitted a list of persons to be Justice of Peace. My name was there, they were pushing me around. I spoke to Trotman. Trotman picked the phone on two or three occasions in front of me, called the Office of the President, Mr. Baker, to tell him to, to appoint me. And it never was, never took place. In other words, Baker also had no respect for him. Um, so I, 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 to I, have, I, have, I have read this book, and actually, it's only 50 pages, because um, the rest is photographs and minutes of parliamentary meetings on natural resources and what have you. It, 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 it would appear to me that you read between the lines, there is no mention of, of the AFC and how uh, he talked about how becoming a minister. They, in these 50 pages, there seem to be some grievance with the AFC. I mean, it says clear in, um, I have, I have, however, uh, I, what I believe, and forget to remind myself that I always work on assignment from God. In the Guyanese context, you know what that means? Everyone knows in the guy, he's going to get something. You, 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 you're so annoyed. You said, this God's doing. Mm. This God's doing, but God will protect me. And you could see from the paragraph here, he was annoyed. And I, am, I, I, I think that at early, as early as the 2015 May, I think APNU and AFC deceived this nation. And maybe they say karma come back. That is why the Guyanese people voted voted out in 2020. This, this was a mess. Now, for example, 
This was a mess. How could those people tell the nation that they had six ministers and the prime minister when that was not so? I raised it as, I mentioned it at the, Craig the committee. I mentioned it at the, at, the, at the committee. I told them. I know the amount was four. And then the, afterwards they had a negotiation where they end up with is eight, uh, with including the prime minister, which carry you to eight. But I know the original amount went in the current. No, um, uh, that might that might be a little inaccurate. Let me just correct that yeah. quickly before you go forward. There were four named. There were there there were six ministries and prime minister, but there were four named ministries. If if, if you follow, what I'm saying these four ministries were named in the Cummins Burger Accord and the Specifically others... Specifically assigned to us. Yes, yeah. and the others, the president could we'll decide. decide or negotiate the other the other two. But, right? So there were four named ministries. It was um, works. Um, the four would mean agriculture. Um, but the Cummins Burger Accord said six plus five ministers. No, no. Yeah, but six. four was named. The other but two was four named. were designated... Name to PFC in the Cummins in the Cummins in, in the accord. Yes. I was there. Four ministries: agriculture, tourism, um, agri um, works, works, yeah, and public um, security. Public security. Public security. Public security. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what. I was sitting there, and when they decided to select the minister, two person from us, which was Gaskin and Patterson, I was left out went with the others along there to discuss ministries and they came up with that and i have no doubt in my mind they look after themselves they they assigned they, they picked the ministry to fit who they wanted from since then it's um it was a a, a moment of glory for guyana and then it all went into and the, one, the one of my asthma and one of the reasons is when we were talking of granger president granger one of the reality, we, a lot of us went over to the FC, we left the PPP and so on because of the corruption and so on. So we expected better. So when this first thing started with the salaries, unfortunately, Moses Nagamutu justified it. There's a section of the book. Right, he justified it. Then the, the corruption with the, with the drug ban. You have a minister, it was clearly corrupt. And Granger, who is his great president, did nothing. In other words, he behaved just like the PPP leadership. When the people do wrong things, we cover it up and we just bypass it. You wanted to read something from the... No, 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 no. I, I, saw, I, I saw you reading. No, 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 I was just looking I'm at gonna something. I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to look at some gonna... aspect, uh, other aspect of talking. We, we, uh, we, um, we have to... Um, let me see the I time from my time. mango pelter. The time has come. We over time. The operator told me over time. Quickly, um, your thoughts on uh, Trotman, the AP and new AFC government, Granger. Just quickly, beginning with alphabetically Bissasa and just keep it um, short. Well, first of all, as I said, they didn't, the, the corruption comments, single sourcing and all the other thing, nothing was done about it. That's one. Secondly, when they came up with this idea, where, when you had the, the no confidence motion, to my mind, had they accepted it and got the election in March, they had a better chance of winning. But if they lost, they could have come back. But when they went out to the store, the four majority and so on, they sung themselves. Any okay. chances of coming um, back was done. Uh, my last okay. question, the oil and gas. Oh, no, no we, we got to go. The, 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 okay. Um, Calvin, yeah, we, we spent a lot of time on those. Yeah, you kept two um, people. But that, long, that, there was two issues. The that, that's the, what yeah. the, um, the thing about. But no, no, that's we were here to discuss um, the book. I and thought you were here to discuss the book. You concentrated so much. No, 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 no. Okay. Our, our intention was the Chutman's um, well, uh, as I book. said earlier. Yeah, but you, you have about, Ireland, that's you another one. Yeah, 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 as I said earlier, that I hadn't read the book because I didn't have the time today. But in general, in terms of the where we learn into government, um, they had problems after we learned into government. Right through, we had problems still 2020 between AP and U, AFC. To me, they weren't that cooperation there was always that fear and the fear mostly come um the apnu always feared that the afc will climb the ladder 
And if they climb the ladder too much, then you may have to give them more. And that was one of the biggest fear. And it, in many times in terms, not too much with Granger, but I think with the other uh, ministers well, and the um, other people. You, so you had a little problem right through till from 2015 to 2020. To me, they had a little... Apnu had this tr um, trust okay, the okay. EFC. Well, um, we got to go. Sh the last say is the... Uh, the latest test player for the West Indies. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, um, so to be quick, yeah, the, for me, the weakest aspect of the APNU AFC government was their politics. Mm -hmm. um, in my personal opinion, the, the government ran throughout the, 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 the four and a half, five years, whatever the period turned out to be. The weakest aspect was politics mm. there were some bright spots in administration um but the politics of government and, and it is clear when you read rafa's book throughout the entire book there was no he wrote about his entire as i mentioned earlier wrote about his entire time as minister and the oil and gas and all of that and nothing about the political dimensions okay of um thing that, go. that was symptomatic of that government okay we gotta go um i think the three of you um have been here three times before you have made this you have contributed to the success of this program i will like to have you but i'll treat you back again you are going to be invited back again there's no doubt about that uh it was discussion was nice it's always a, a lot of views when this combination is on and i look forward to it again i think we've had a, a, an interesting evening and we will do this again thanks for watching us this was this has been the gildavi fadikisun show we were discussing with leonard craig with ginger Pesessar, and michael carrington three former very very big wigs in the afc leadership but they are no longer there we were discussing truck Trotman's book, Rafael Trotman's book, From Destiny to Prosperity. We have gone way over time and our operator is in my ear. So thanks for being with us. As I normally say, catch you later, man. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.